we came up with this concept from the get-go to build a transforming vehicle so that we could be hydrodynamic and be able to cruise a long distance and then expose our manipulators. I don't know about you, but I, uh, I grew up watching Transformers. Uh, so uh, this was basically like as a roboticist, I mean, I think there were like kind of two objectives I had, you know, build a Transformer at some point in my career and then deploy a robot from another robot. The transforming thing sounded, sounded cool, sounded amazing. And then you had to really like, you're like, well, why, why do we need to do it? So the idea of this transformer robot came from the two major areas of subsea robotics. You have your AUVs, your submarine shaped, uh, swim really far, really efficiently, and take pictures of everything. But they don't have any ability to touch the environment. And ROVs, which are the complement to that, are these big dishwasher, refrigerator looking things with manipulators on them, by and large connected to ships. We can, in pretty short order, go from an AUV form to an ROV form and have the best of both worlds. We came up with this concept from the get-go to build a transforming vehicle so that we could be hydrodynamic and be able to cruise a long distance and then expose our manipulators. It was comp combining the need for efficient transport to a location and the uh, capability of the manipulation. So that was really the crux of it, but we fought ourselves the whole way trying to prove why we didn't need to do it because a transforming robot is more complicated. So you have to prove to yourselves that you need it, and, and I think we did. We came out here to start doing testing, so that means transforming the vehicle in the water or being able to station keep. Uh, do moves and navigate around the pool to, you know, designated locations. Uh, starting to a little bit push our system, kind of throttling up the thrust a little bit. All while we can still see it, have cameras on it, um, you know, kind of in a safe place for the robot. When I first got into this industry, you know, five years ago, and, and I unrolled my first little picture of a subsea field, I went, you've got to be kidding me. I had no idea. There's a fascinating amount of things underwater. And as such, they need, they need to be fixed from time to time. They need to be inspected from time to time. And, and there are things to be built on, uh, underwater. And so what we need to do is unlock our ability to do that in a much more cost-effective way, uh, much more ad hoc. We're gonna knock the cost of going into a subsea field and doing work down significantly, well below half the market rate right now. We're trying to change the face of the way people do work underwater currently. We think it's outdated. We think there's a different way. We think there's a better, more cost-effective way to do work underwater, and we're gonna prove it.